Coming to and coming back from a road game. Here's 60% and averaging 17 per game. Marvin Williams, a three-point try on February the 2nd. And now Oladipo numbers. Walker's numbers are solid. Dwight Howard's numbers are solid as well. Yeah, but I think the other thing is, quite frankly, in the last 10 games, even though the Pacers have a winning record, is they have fallen behind in that first quarter. Sabonis hits the jump. Has another steal. He read it from the very beginning and got a fast break. I mean, that uh, after defense, the Pacers' ability to get a turnover is really huge. He's now tied Mike Cos Paul, the all time leader, with 108 straight games. Old Adipo into Sabonis again and puts it up and in. Better than three per game. In fact, he has seven straight games of three or more steals. And Old Adipo and the Pacers are third in the league in forcing turnovers. This length is a challenge. Yeah, I'm glad. Mono had 23 turnovers on Friday night, but the Pacers just could not score. So as a guard, or in this case, a bonus gets it. And here's another turnover, the fifth straight for the Hornets. And Rim, that's why I said, oh no. And Batum, turnaround jumper, nearly missed everything. Howard puts it in. Field three of five from three. These last two games very important for Glenn, aren't they? I think they are. If he wants to work his way into the rotation. He, he is throwing people around left to right. He threw Victor on the ground that time. Here's Victor for his third three double figure games, and he's averaging 12 points and 10 rebounds. He's been very active. And Sabonis, look what I found. He plays. He's starting to get back. You know, he had that sprained ankle. All of that stuff seems to be way. He needs a screen. Yeah, Gilchrist is too big. Have gone to the bench. In fact, Malik Monk, the rookie out of Kentucky, is in. That's commencement in has replaced Victor as the Pacers have their five bench players in. And in He's not a rookie. He can, he's a guy that can really score the ball. They, they've got confidence to give it to him. And you can come in the game, and the first thing they do when they first start, they go too fast, sometimes too slow. He's found his rhythm. And he's fine. The five in purple for the Charlotte Hornets. Oh, boy. Hernan Gomez inside the final 30 seconds. What a good basketball play there by Lance. Uh, and has played well. If you think Victor can say he's back home, that's Malik. The Pacers. Let it go. Now that's the Glenn Robert. They post up Lamb flying by was Rutter at that point. He was not coming off the bench. Robinson for three. That 12 points, 55 of the 73 right. on Friday. This sure did. There you go. That's the basketball he's got to play. Stronger than that. Because what you have to be able to do is be able to make the defenses make quick decisions and give them the chance. Either the Sixers or the Cleveland. There is a shot you could get the third seed. And you might play somebody else. And here's Robinson. Yes. He did provide great leadership while he was with the franchise earlier in the year. Here's another three. And it's good. Miles Turner was the 11th pick in 2015. Right Monk was the 11th pick in 2017. Stevenson cross court. Joseph. Here's Booker. The speed of that pass made that play. And Joseph's jump shot per Pacers. Oh, look at that pass to Booker. It's from Booker. When he's got four rebounds and already five Hello. assists, show Hello. and go for as well as you know passes in the air behind his back. They're counting that. They had 55 of the 73 on Friday night as Oladipo got there and moving too fast. He was going to pick up a, another foul. Kid Gilchrist. One games this year, bothered by left knee soreness. He had surgery, and that's Walker. He had to back off because he was about to pick up his third foul. Way to come back at him, Victor. Advantage. Walker got two. A 10-point advantage, and that's how. We can't shoot foul shots. Well, look at Bogey driving. That rebound, they'd have thrown it to him again. Yep, right, don't fight it. Don't fight I'd much rather foul him than let him dunk it. And Collis. So they cover it. When it's one of the reasons, and Ooh, that's all the depot, the steal. And he'll give it to Collison, who lays it in. That's the third. 73 Friday night. They have 68 here in the first half. 
Masters this year. What terrific ball handling there. Oh, my goodness. Shake him up. Bit. Shake him up. The pass, which is not the four shots. As you said, Victor's off to a great start. He can shoot anytime he wants almost. Oh, what a... Made a couple of those in the first half. Now Walker. Oh, and ball in that clamp. Oh, I still love the defense. He makes a shot. 8.8 rebounds for Dwight Howard. Williams for three. Some fun, but you got to get focused. Shots. You got to get three seconds, too. Shot 60 overs in the last four possessions. And Kit Gilchrist oh, can't boy. get it, but Howard can on the post. Good fight there by Sabonis. He's Pacers continue with their starting four along with Sabonis over of the quarter. He's been outstanding today. Batum. Especially in this game because see he's big enough to move to White Howard. Tall. This is his fourth year in Carolina. Thomason for three. It's no that that's that's special to, to win one. When you get them both in the same year, that, that makes it it we were looking for it or he was looking for it for the 20-point game. Chris, because he's had to play a lot of minutes because Miles got in foul trouble early. Corey Joseph mid-range jumper. Walker, who's as quick as anybody in basketball. And the Pacers play five on four and a three. Good play there by Domas. Glenn Robinson is in. He had a double-figure first Hello. half. And Hello. And Sabonis. 16 to five run. And a foul on him. Sure it is. That's my point. Once the guy's in the air, you get pushed. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's dangerous. Stevenson has been a playmaker today in Charlotte, and now he becomes Indiana trying for its 21st road win of the year. Malik Monk had a double figure first. We're underway, fourth quarter, and Lance. Don't ah! addition to this team. Hey, as much as his skill and what he brings, Chris, it's just as... When I did an event with Peter Dinwiddie of the Pacers front office before the Golden State. I mean, he brings good, solid things to the team. That might go in. It man. does. I'm telling you, Lance is... His ninth rebound. Oh! Shake him up, Lance! It's Kaminsky with it. There's no way Kaminsky's getting it from Lance under those circumstances. Joseph for three. That falls... A little bit laughing about it, because they know that, that Glenn should have gotten the ball on that play. That... Oladipo has scored 23 and makes it. Stone has come in. He's guarding Oladipo. Julian Sp uh, Stone, and that's so thirsty. <laughs> he was trying to quench that thirst. I'm telling you, this, this guy. As GR3 has come in. Yeah, Bogey has liked that matchup, and that's first half. The Pacers 9 of 21 today. And that's 8 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists today. Domas Ooh. Sabonis has become the first Pacer Tuesday fan appreciation night at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. They lob it up, Hernan Gomez. And now Kaminsky to Page. In the playoffs anyway. Well, the Pacers turn it over, and here comes Monk. It's a nine. Truly how you believe to play the game, you got to respect the game. And how about Old that? Depot, right? Two minutes of regulation. Oh, layup. Seven. And a quarter. That helped. Very good look. That's all right. He hit his elbow. Victor gives up. And he was going to dunk. Yeah, he rightfully should have been scared because GR3. And Old Depot gave it this up. Is, yeah, he's and now shoot Page this. for three. Get and the rebound. How about Sabonis gets the rebound? And he's a, some. There you go. Good basketball. Good. Good etiquette. See there. In the final two games, Kaminsky with two and a half seconds hits the three. That'll put a cap on the scoring. That's the usually the case to make a three when a shot.